time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. And it's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-Y. Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's time to get this interview started. y'all if you have noticed recently on my on my channel i've been doing a lot of like the virtual interviews for the movies the shows the series that's been coming on i even did one with peter ramsey the other day peter ramsey the great spider-man into the spider-verse director won academy award winning well a new series came out on netflix called jurassic world camp create create yes i can never say that name right ah <laughs> that's hard camp create create yes it's hard anyway i've done some virtual press junkets for that right and this was a little different because they only gave me the audio even though we were on the zoom and i was talking to him and saw him live i guess they just did the audio for this i'm like well this makes it a little hard for my youtubes this makes it a little hard because people want to see them interacting and talking. But anyway, we're going to still make it work for the YouTubes, right? Because I got the audio and we can listen to it together. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. We're going to listen to it together. So this one is the interview with three of the voice actors in it. We have, what's his name? I, I'm going to have trouble saying Paul McKell. Williams, now he plays kind of the main character in this Darius, who is like this little, you know, I guess young boy, preteen, tween age, and he um, won a video game. He won a video game in the series, which the winner first to win this video game was sent to the, the Jurassic World Island to attend camp for free. So he plays this character. Then we have Glenn Powell. He plays Dave in the series one of like the camp counselors and then we got Jamila Jamel oh I love her you might know her from she was on the good place see when you hear her voice you will recognize her because that was kind of the question I had for her. anyway I you know I had to ask her a question I had to ask her a question even if it wasn't that big of a deal of a question I was like I'm gonna get to, I want to talk to Jamila Jamel anyway let's get started because there was like three of us there was three of us in this little interview, and it's really sh kind of short. So y'all ready to get this started? Wow. This was the first girl. My question this is, is for Paul Mikkel. Um, Darius. I have three boys, and they highly identified with your character. This um, is him. Definitely connected with Darius. Um, and so I wanted to know what did you like most about your character and what aspects of your character did you identify with the most? Well, that was a nice question. Okay, so number one, I just want to say that um, I am also the baby of three boys. So I, yeah, so I relate. Um, the, one of the things that I liked most about my character or Darius was that he was always outgoing. He was always, he always, he was the, he was very selfless. He always put everyone before himself. Um, he got killed. He almost got killed multiple times. <laughs> but, Don't get um, too much away. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> But what I really love is that he's always the he's always the um he's he's not the silent one of the group, but he's more so. Oh, hi! I just wanted to say hi to you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about her that. Son, her son home. came yeah. in. It's fine. It's her fine. Son came in. I get it. I get it. <laughs> but um. One of the things that I liked most so about him was that video. he was always the one that wanted to stop the arguments. He was always the one that wanted everybody to get along. He wasn't the only one that wanted everybody to get along, but um, but he definitely was one of the most... Uh, he was definitely the, the pacifist of the group. And um, I, I love how it speaks to um, people that relate to it because it's not just a story. It's a story that, that you can put yourself in you can put yourself in that person's shoes and vice versa I and i love how i, I love I how darius i love how i got the chance right. to make darius communicate to um to families such as yours and i really i really appreciate that you answered that question or that you asked that question um tell all of your children that i said hi by the way <laughs> 
Well, that was an interesting answer, right? Well, especially when he said, put yourself in the shoes, because I don't know if I could put myself in the shoes <laughs> of being chased by dinosaurs, right? <laughs> I don't know if I want to be putting myself in those shoes. <laughs> so my question's next. We're going to hear me talk to Jamila Jamel. Y'all ready? Hi, guys. Thanks for having me here. I, um, <laughs> I would like to ask, well, Jamila, number one, you know, I loved you on The Good Place, and I even watch the misery index. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when I was watching this series, your voice, I picked up right away. I was like, oh, I, you know, when I first heard it and watching the series, I was I like, that's Jamila Jamila. So I was just wondering how you came upon this project. Uh, were you scouted because of your amazing voice? <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was for my amazing voice, but I scouted maybe because I come across as quite bossy in real life. And so I think they just thought, bossy, Jamila. Um, but they asked me and before I even finished the email, I, I, this was my brain while I was reading the email. I was like, yes, 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 please, yes. Uh, and it took me like 10 seconds to respond with a thank you. So yeah, I thank God I didn't have to, I don't, I don't think I auditioned for this. Maybe I did, but I, I don't, if I did, I don't know how I even got through it because I, I wanted this so much. I mean, my question wasn't deep or anything like that. I wanted to talk to her and tell her how much I loved her. <laughs> but I also wanted to, I mean, that was interesting to hear her response because I'm telling you, this series is part of like a huge iconic franchise, the Jurassic Park movies, you know, the Jurassic World movies. And now we have this animated series kind of for kids to enjoy uh, this franchise also. But the big thing is, it's like, backed, the, you, if you looked at the executive producers and all that, Steven Spielberg got onto this project, right? This is backed by Steven Spielberg from the Jurassic Park, you know, the OG, <laughs> the OG of the Jurassic movie. So I can understand, you know, when she says she got that email, when she says, I got that email, and right, she just saw like, Jurassic World, you want to come do it? She, and she's like, yes, I can understand, because this is huge, I, and and I'm going to tell y'all, watch the series. Hi, everyone. So my question is for all of you, because I'd love to know how you feel being a part of the Jurassic franchise. Right. And at least a little Glenn Powell. Come Somebody on. else can start with this. I've answered this many times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, go ahead, go ahead, Jamila. Oh, I was just going to say, I mean, as you can hear from my last answer, it meant the world to me. I grew up with the Jurassic franchise and I'm so happy and proud to be a part of it, but also just to watch something that just has such consistency in the value of the output. It's so easy to destroy a legacy that people love so much. And so it really speaks to the care of all of the creators, the many creators involved that we have maintained the way that we have and keep finding new levels, new emotions, wow. new ways to humanize this story. And uh, I I honestly like can't think of many projects that I feel prouder to be involved Aww. with. And Are also I get to work with these wonderful people Aww. and, and you know, and old Steve, you know, Stephen, Stephen Stephen speaks. Yeah. Call him yeah. Stephen. Uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think Jurassic Park, we sort of talked about this, you know, we're sort of nerding out about our, you know, potential run-ins with, with the man himself and, and also just being a part of this. And I did a, I did a project on it when I was in elementary school. Cause after I saw the movie, I was sort of obsessed with like the robotic technology on how they like created all these dinosaurs. And for me, Jurassic Park's always sort of represented the magic of movies, right? Uh, there's no other medium in which you can put dinosaurs and humans on screen and pull that magic trick off in a really cool way. And I think the one thing that I really love about early Steven Spielberg movies was just ma which is sort of a rarity these days. You, you don't you don't see a lot of movies that marry big budget, you know, sort of action cinema with emotion. And I think true. you know, these guys really hit it out of the park with this because it's a really heartfelt story um mm -hmm. about real kids um battling these crazy circumstances, but you still have what I would consider groundbreaking animation. I don't think mm -hmm. I've ever seen a show that looks like this ever, but you also have this like really, really amazing heartfelt writing. Um, and you know, with, with someone like Paul who, who brings like heart, um, and, and sort of heartbreaking, uh, conviction to 
animation. It's such a hard thing to do, but I think we pulled it off. So I think this is one of those um, things you really feel lucky to be a part of at the very beginning, but even more lucky to see the execution of it. All right, I have to comment on that <laughs> because he really did hit the nail on the head with that. The animation he brought up was amazing. Like when I first turned on from the very first scene in this series, the animation, it was the boy Darius playing a video game, but it was, it felt like the, you're in the video game. You know how those 3D games, which I really can't watch. My husband plays, my kids play, but it's the three, you felt like the 3D and, and the animation in this was astounding. But also he brought it, you know, touched on, you know, the humanity, the characters you really get into. And it's true because, I mean, it's a group of teenager, teens, a teenage, around the age, tween teens, you know, and they go to this camp. But they really get into the character development in this series. You know, Darius, who I said won the video game, you see a lot of his backstory and, and how he, you know, loved dinosaurs and always wanted to go there. But it's father you know, had passed away a while ago so you kind of feel for that character but it, it also brings all these other stories of these different teens there and you really feel for them so he hit it on the head let's hear the last answer and then we're done can i also just add that i really like oh, the fact that when it comes to my dynamic with dave's character with roxy and dave that often in any kind of action film or any film generally, it's the man being super practical and staying in control and being the kind of hero where, and the woman's kind of a bit Girl more power. faffy and then she's a bit more, you know, all over the place and doesn't have her, um, her shit together. Uh, oh, right. What she's I really like about this, that, that, that kind of role reversal of the fact that kind of like Roxy's the one keeping, <laughs> keeping Dave alive. in check. And I think that there's just kind of throughout the whole the whole series there is this undertone of like really important messages for where I think Hollywood needs to be and Steven Spielberg has always been at the helm of that he's always kind of broken rules or pushed boundaries mm -hmm. and I think he's also doing that in this way and, and I think it's going to impact kids a lot you know and and families in general and that probably brings it back to where she was like I'm the sassy one because it is true like you know, they were both kind of these camp counselors and, and Dave's kind of like, I don't know, the, the you know, Glenn who plays Dave uh, was kind of like the more like, hey guys, da da da, you know, and then Roxy was, who Jamila plays more the like, all right, right here, you know, she was the bossy one, so it, yeah, it kind of hits the nail on the head, it's not really a, a series where it's like, oh, the damsel in distress that needs to be saved, no. The damsel saving it all. <laughs> well, she did. And I'm just saying, but she's the one, you know, that everybody's looking to instead of like the man saving the day. Which, you know me, I'm girl. Let's do it, girl power. All right. Last, last part. Because still, uh, we have to hear from the one who plays Darius, you know, the Paul McCall. Is that how you say his name? Uh, yeah. Just to piggyback on what both of you guys said, just the fact of, um, role reversal and so many cliche dodges so as far as ethnicity and gender i that's what i love about this show um just the fact of children taking the helm of of not not um sheltering in place so to speak and and taking taking control of of their own lives making their own decisions i love how they portray that um again as jamila said i love how roxy portrays like the strong man of of the two, Woman. and then I love how Glenn is just chilling, and he's always there as the comedic relief in the show. Not to mention that, not to mention that he's always um, just he's just as a person. Glenn is is great. He's energetic. He's thoughtful, and um, I feel that I feel that before before I had uh, gotten booked for this show, I I still did love. Uh, Jurassic Park and Jurassic World just made me love it even more. And then when I booked this show, uh, my mom handed me the phone with my agent on the line and she was literally jumping up and down and I immediately knew, I was like, okay, yeah, I know what's going on. <laughs> and then I tried to answer in the most nonchalant way possible. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> and um, yeah, but I feel that this this series, this series has, 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 made my love for sci-fi just it's 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 lengthened to the point of wow just wow and i'm telling y'all that's how i felt after i watched it too as a sci-fi fan as a jurassic park fan you know even though this is kind of you know an animated series which 
But I'm iffy about animated series. I, you know, I can go either way on them. Some things I'm like, oh, this shouldn't have been animated. Some things I feel like that. I'm like, oh, I don't really want to watch an animated version of this. But this one, it, it, like you said, it hit the nail on the head. And I and I loved it. As a, as a Jurassic Park fan, as a sci-fi fan, as a mom who has kids that wants to, you know, share this love with them. I thought this was a great series. And it's only eight episodes, about 30, 25, 30 minutes each. So it's a quick watch, but I definitely suggest it. It's on Netflix now. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what y'all think. Comments, thumbs, and all that. Till next time. Mwah! Bye.